In the 19th century, the government encouraged people to move out west with the promise of cheap land. The growth of LA coincided with the advent of the motor car, meaning city suburbs could afford to sprawl far and wide. Farming and the oil industry boom saw LA's population jump from 170,000 in 1900 to 2.2 million by 1930. Homes were built primarily with wood for its ability to withstand small earthquakes, but it made them more vulnerable to fire. Today it is the second most populous city in the United States, after New York City. But unlike New York, LA grew out, not up. And this is where urban sprawl is meeting climate change head on. This map shows how year-round temperatures have been steadily increasing in LA. Average temperatures in LA County have risen around 4 degrees Fahrenheit in the past 50 years. Here, the heat combined with the winds that funnel through the canyons and valleys contributes to the intensity of fires. Research by the University of Colorado Boulder using two decades of NASA satellite data suggests that fires are also spreading faster than ever before. This map shows the drought conditions in the LA region in the six months leading up to the 2025 fires. Even before the fires, data shows that one in 10 properties in Los Angeles County were at very high risk of fire. Climate change and associated extreme weather events displaced two and a half million Americans in 2023. Of the more than 150,000 Angelinos displaced by the January 2025 fires, how many will risk returning?